Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be all about body care. I don't know why I haven't done a video like this before, at least I don't think so on this channel. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it, but if you're new, I would love if you would consider subscribing down below and give the video a thumbs up. If you enjoy it, it is raining outside, so if it gets really loud, I apologize. Hopefully it doesn't pick up too much. I'm drinking my mint tea. And we're gonna go ahead and get into these products. I'm gonna start with what I feel like is everyone's favorite like body care product, and that is moisturizer. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls are always hydrated. And you may hate me, but personally, I am not a fan of that very popular Nivea body cream or lotion. I actually have it because it's like so recommended. I know people talk about a couple of different ones, but I feel like they're all pretty similar. I feel like it takes so long to rub it in and then when it does rub in, it kind of just like disappears. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. That is just not my personal journey, vibe, whatever. I will tell you guys in just a second what my favorite like body cream formulas are. But if you kind of want to get an idea of the texture that I like in my body cream or that I lean towards, that is going to be something that a lot of you guys are probably going to be more familiar with. The Bath & Body Works body creams. I know that this is like not something everyone wants to buy totally understand that. I have some much better options here for you, but just to give you an idea of the texture and consistency that I like, this formula is thick, but it's not too thick and it blends into the skin pretty quickly, but it doesn't completely sink in all the way. Like it leaves your skin feeling moisturized and looking moisturized, but not greasy or sticky. It's just like that perfect in-between cream for me. So if I'm gonna use something from Bath & Body Works, it's gonna be this um, body cream formula, not the lotions. But as I said, my favorite like brands and formulas for body cream, number one is Lush. So I guess it's technically their body lotions in the tubs like this, and they have different ones. And I've liked the ones I've tried. I guess I haven't tried them all, but the ones I've tried, I've loved the formula. My favorite is the Sleepy. I use this one at night before I go to bed. It smells so, so, so good. It's like lavender with like a little bit of like a vanilla tonka bean kind of scent. I don't know if you guys can really see in that tub. I'm almost out of this one, but it's like a light lavender color. And I also keep a small tub of this beside my bed at night because I love putting it on my chest. I actually feel like it helps me relax and fall asleep. I do sometimes put it on my legs too at night, like after I shower, but I like to be able to really smell it. So sometimes I keep it for my upper body, but Lush is one of my favorite formulas for sure when it comes to a body lotion cream whatever it's not like a super thin lotiony formula but it's also not like thick and heavy at all and then my other favorite which is one that i do not have here with me right now but i will be repurchasing it soon it's just that i have so many creams i'm trying to go through even though i don't like them as much to be honest other than the lush one the leanne grace body butters oh my gosh you guys those are so luxurious the packaging is beautiful it's a small business online, so I definitely recommend checking it out. It has really, really good ingredients, and I do wish they would branch out on their scents. I haven't smelled them all, but the one that I had before was like the Sweet Cream, I think it's called, and that's the one I'll be repurchasing when I buy it again, but it's so, so good. It's my favorite body butter formula because it's not like a typical overly thick, heavy body butter. It's more like a nice, cream i guess everyone might have different opinions or ideas of what those categories are like lotion cream butter but to me it's just the perfect formula and i definitely recommend that one also one more if you have like very very dry skin or just like skin issues uh, my friend has a lovely brand called the navi brand and she makes an absolutely beautiful delicious face and body like cream that is so beautiful it has shea butter and some wonderful oils in it and it leaves your skin so juicy and hydrated and moisturized and just like really heals the skin so i know i've talked about that one on my channel before but it's great for the body as well um, I'll have that link down below along with the rest of these. I do have a skincare routine up on my channel if you guys haven't checked that out already. And I do talk about skincare in some of my favorites videos if you want to hear some more recommendations 
in that category. But anyways, I know this is a crazy amount of creams, but I do want to mention a couple more affordable ones, I guess, because some of the ones I mentioned are a little bit more pricey. When I am wearing like shorts or a dress or something in the summertime and I want my legs to look hydrated, but I don't want them to have that feeling on them like I can get sometimes with some of the other creams I mentioned because they have like that really juicy finish. They're not like sticky or nasty. It just leaves your skin with that feeling on it. And if you don't want that, one that I personally really like way more than the Nivea one is the Soap and Glory. This is in the Mist You Madly scent. It's like a warm floral scent. So it is a little bit more intense. I think it smells lovely, but if it's not for you, they do have other ones, I believe. And this is just their luxurious body lotion. I really like this formula when my legs are gonna be out, but I don't want them to have like any residue on them because it sinks in really nicely, but it leaves my skin looking hydrated. I just love that this one just sinks in so much faster. Um, and then also this one, you definitely need to use how it says to use it because it is the Jergens weightless wet skin moisturizer this one I keep in my shower and I use it when my body is still soaking wet like completely soaking wet as soon as I turn the shower off and I will slather it all over my body and it's so fast because it like mixes with the water if you put this on when your skin isn't wet I feel like it's like greasy but for some reason when it mixes with the water it just like Ooh, I went out of focus. It just gives me like nice, soft, supple skin. And the main like reason that I like this, to be honest, is how fast it is. Like I can just slap it onto my skin and it blends like so quickly. And I don't have to like take the time to like rub in a cream for like 10 minutes all over my body. So I wanted to mention that um, because it's very affordable and it's very quick. Okay, that's all the creams and body lotions and stuff that I had to talk about. Let's talk about some shower products because I'm even a little bit more picky with this. The body wash that I'm going through right now that I absolutely love is this OGX Smoothing Coconut Coffee Scrub and Wash. I will say there's not a ton of scrub to this. It's very mild. There's just some beads in there, but I love the creamy texture of this. It does lather up, but it's very creamy and moisturizing. I'm gonna take a sip of tea. I fell in love with this formula. I'm a little over halfway through this bottle now. I do switch it out with some of my other body washes, but this is the one that I have right now that I love the most. And I definitely wanna try out some of their others because I know that they have a couple other like scents and things in this like formula. I don't know if they're all exactly the same, but it's like the OGX body washes that come in this bottle. So I really wanna try out the others. I've heard they're great as well and I don't doubt it. Um, but this is the one that I've tried and it smells like the perfect mixture of coconut and coffee. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So I love this one. I have tried quite a few like high-end, more expensive body washes. And to be honest, there's only one that stands out to me as being worth the money. And that is the L'Occitane Almond Shower Oil. That one is a very light cleanser. It's very moisturizing because it does come out like an oil, but it does lather up into this really beautiful, creamy lather. I'm obsessed with that. I just haven't repurchased it because I haven't wanted to spend that extra money, even though I do feel like it's worth it. I just think there's also a lot of great options at the drugstore as well. But that's like the only high-end one that I've tried that I would personally repurchase. A couple other affordable ones that I really like Right here I have the St. Ives Soothing Oatmeal and Shea Butter Body Wash. I only have the travel size because I picked it up for a trip I went on recently, but I have gone through a full huge bottle of this and I knew that I liked it, so that's why I went with this one for my trip. But it's just a very lightweight, moisturizing, doesn't strip your skin body wash that's affordable and it's just a good one to go to when you don't know what to buy because like I said it's not going to strip your skin it doesn't dry you out it's very like soothing to me I also really like the Aveeno body washes I think they have some really good scents I've used their lavender one I think they also have like a peach one or something but those ones are really good too I do want to try the native ones because I love native deodorant I've talked about it so many times on my channel but I just haven't 
done that yet because I do think that those are a little bit more pricey compared to some of these brands at the drugstore. And I know that I really like these. So anyways, obviously I haven't tried all the products in the world, but these are what I've tried that I really like. And not to go back to cream, but I do want to try the Boom Boom Cream. Obviously, I'm not talking about it in this video, and it's not because I don't like it. It's because I haven't tried it. I just haven't wanted to spend that much money on a body cream because it is so much more expensive than even like the Lush ones or that Leanne Grace one I talked about. So it is really up there, but I know that... I do really love the Shirosa 62 scent. I think it smells incredible. So maybe I will have to splurge on that one at some point. But moving on, I do want to talk about a body scrub. I know that in some of my past videos, I talked about that. I can't remember what it's called. It's like a, a brand I found at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. And it kind of looked like the Soap and Glory packaging, but I can't remember what the name of the brand was but you can't get it online in the States. It was only available at TJ Maxx and Marshall's, so it was like very hit and miss what you could find. I talked about a body scrub from them that I absolutely loved, and I said that it had a lot of sugar granules that like really scrubbed your skin well, and that I felt like, even though I like the Shea Moisture body scrubs, like they kind of dissolved a little bit faster. You guys, I don't know if it was just the ones that I used or if they changed the formula or what, but I recently picked up another Tree Hut scrub and I don't know why I thought that because this is so, like it has basically the same type of formula as that other body scrub I talked about. It really, really scrubs all the dead skin off. It's not like overly harsh, but it doesn't just dissolve underwater right away. It actually stays nice and scrubby and like it gets kind of creamy when you really rub it in. So I don't know if they changed the formula, like I said, or if the certain scents I got weren't as scrubby or what, but I have it right now in the exotic bloom scent. It's this really pretty bluish lavender color and it smells really nice it's like a fresh slightly powdery floral scent it almost smells like victoria's secret love spell but better because i don't like that body spray like i would not wear that personally but this smells better than that it's more subdued it doesn't have that really strong scent that love spell has it's lighter and it doesn't like stay really long when you like use it on your skin it kind of goes away it's just a nice experience, but I'm obsessed with this and I want to buy like 10 more tree hut scrubs because it's just been so nice and enjoyable to use. And like, it's so good to know that I can get it here in the States, like so many different like scents and kinds that they have. And I did really like the other one I talked about, but I feel like this one is pretty much just as good. So I don't know why I had that experience in the past. But anyways, I do want to talk about also what I use to cleanse my body in the shower. I have, in the recent years, really gotten into these con cognac sponges. Conjac, not sure how to say that exactly because I know different people say different things. I feel like there's an argument on it, but, but it's basically like a natural sponge that is a little bit more. It's not coarse, but it's not quite as soft as a regular sponge. I feel like it does a slight light exfoliation so i really love to use it i get these like oval kind of ones for my body and then i have used the small round ones for my face as well it's great for a facial cleanser but now i have a foria luna so if i'm going to use something to cleanse my face it's going to be that and nine times out of ten when i'm in the shower i just use my hands but i really like this as a body cleansing tool because it does what it needs to do and you can just replace them as often as you want and they're very affordable this is a brand new one that i haven't used yet i got it in a two pack on amazon and i will link some down below if i can't find the exact ones i'll find something similar i think that is actually pretty much it but i do quickly want to talk about the self tan that i use even though i don't self tan that much you guys this is like my natural skin i'm not self tanned right now but sometimes if i'm going on a trip or i just feel like being tan that week or in the summertime more often i will self tan and the one that i have been using for a while now is a saint tropez bronzing mousse this is their advanced one hour tan you can use it for one hour to get a light color two hours for medium and three hours for dark i guess it's called their self tan express actually it just says at the top advanced one hour tan and i love this because you can still use it when you're in a rush like basically just leave it on 
for as long as you kind of can or want and it still will give you some color so I really appreciate that about this one it's probably my favorite that I've used I do like the loving tan as well but I used that one a couple of years ago and I used the dark shade and I didn't feel like it was dark enough for me it didn't really show up very much so I might have to try their ultra dark because I know they have that available now and that one might be better but right now I'm going through this one and I really, really love this one on me because I can kind of like adjust the shade and the undertone is really nice. I do feel like the Loving Tan is a slightly, slightly more olive undertone and I have pretty warm olive skin. So I do really like the undertone of that one, but I feel like this one is pretty darn close. So I really, really like this one. I just have to see if the Loving Tan extra dark or ultra dark will actually show up on my skin tone but yeah i i did use in the past the jerkins which is a lot more affordable if you don't want to spend the money on an expensive tan but the undertone of that one was a little bit more orangey i found it wasn't like too bad but it was just enough to where i prefer these this one and the loving tan undertone a lot more i will say with this one, the thing I love about it probably the most, I don't know how I didn't think to mention this right away, but how nicely this fades. Like, I feel like even almost slightly better than the Loving Tan. And I don't know if it's just this one from Saint Tropez, but this literally, like I barely notice when it leaves my skin because it fades so naturally and smoothly that I can't even tell like when it faded. You know what I'm saying? Like it lasts on my skin. I can tell that I'm tan for like, five to seven days but after that I can't even tell how fast it faded because it just fades so naturally and there's no splotchiness I don't even need to remove it with like an exfoliating mitt or anything like that because it just truly fades so beautifully that's probably like my favorite thing about this obviously you know if you have like a sunburn and your skin is peeling self tan does kind of look patchy but in any other case this just fades so beautifully i think that's all the products i had to talk about let me know if you have some good recommendations for me down below what are your favorites thank you guys so much for watching this video i really hope that it was helpful to you or that you enjoyed it let me know what other videos you want to see from me down in the comments and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in my next video bye